We are here with George Littlechild and in his um, Something Sacred Art Show. Hello, George. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, question for you. Uh, in your art, are you influenced by your culture? Actually, I am quite influenced by my culture. The culture I come from, actually, I'm biracial. <clears throat> but my late mother was Plains Cree, First Nations in Canada. And uh, the culture is very strong and come from a very strong tradition. Uh, many of my ancestors, the women, were beaters and they would embellish their clothing, their regalia. And so in my work a lot of times you see different geometric designs, floral designs, and a lot of that is reminiscent of the ancestral beadwork that they would create. In fact, when I was at the um, museum in Alberta, one of my great-grandfather, was a chief, Chief Francis Bull, his wife had beaded this beautiful pouch with these gorgeous floral pink beads and turquoise. And a lot of people say, well, your color is very different, very, just basically different than other First Nations artists. But then I say, have you ever been to a powwow? And have you ever looked at the regalia and the beadwork, this gorgeous line of greens and turquoise and pink? So people always think, well, how come your work is these colors? It's because it comes from my culture. So, uh, and in your culture, women are very important. That's why you, in this uh, exhibition, you have this Women are very important, but I had this interesting connection. My late mother, who died when I was very young, she, um, it's kind of interesting when, you, when you're a child and you have this longing for this individual. And so for me in this exhibition, it's commemorating who she was, but also commemorating all women. I've done a lot of research into my ancestry and have these gorgeous photographs of my ancestors, lovely, lovely pictures. And so, in doing that, I wanted to honor those women. I wanted to uh, bring forward their strengths. Often, what happens in certain cultures, the men are more revered. And I felt that I wanted to honor the women of, of, of my history and honor my mother and my connection to her. Actually, it was the premise I was going to do a portrait of. I only have one picture of her and I together, and she's I'm on her knee, and I was going to actually paint that, but I never did. So it was interesting because all this other work was born out of this idea that I had to do, I had planned, and that never happened, but this work became uh, part of this body of art. So, so to me, women are very sacred, I mean, and, and it's also honoring women, you know, that have, have suffered tragedy and violence and abuse, and I wanted to commemorate those women that had lost their lives, you know, in Vancouver, East Side, Skid Row, and all those areas across Canada and the world. Women that are forgotten, women that uh, people often don't take notice of, right? And so I wanted to bring those people forward. Some of these women in these paintings are women of my family, but some not. And so for me it was uh, bringing the women's voice forward and to commemorate who they were in their lives. So in, in some of your pieces, like these ones that we are seeing here, it looks like you have a religious influence also. Is that true? Well, there is, it is religion and it's not religion because I don't believe in religion as that. I believe the, the, the inspiration for a lot of this was the Madonna and Child. But I wanted to take it to the forefront because religion, as we know, Christianity, almost destroyed indigenous cultures around the world, not just Canada. And so I'm using the motif, but transforming it. Uh, so you see the woman and the child, the idea of the woman and child. But so the halo becomes a star, which is a sacred symbol, symbol in my culture. And it's a star of hope. It's a star of um, the... East, the, the morning star that you see in the morning. So I wanted to transform what religion had done and, and to bring it to uh, a place that is of understanding rather than something that was negative. So it's using an image but transforming it. So it's the act of transformation. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>